Okay, so I just got this in on the post today. Um, it's a micro SD uh, solution for the Commodore PET. So I bought this from Dave, the same guy who repaired my PET for me. Uh, yeah, so it's uh, actually an internal uh, version. He does three different versions. And this one actually sits inside the PET. So you need to open the lid of the pet to get access to the memory card. But it's not like the pet is particularly hard to open. So uh, yeah, that's why I went for the internal solution. So this is uh, Dave's card here. Again, it's uh, Tainmouth Software. There's all his details there, his email address and his website, his phone number. And there's some of the services he provides. So there's a link in the description below to Dave's website and a link to his blog where he uh, describes the new versions of the micro SD. He's done a few different versions of these so he's just uh, released these new ones. Um, it's like a new updated version. So yeah, just uh, like I said, just got this in the post and uh, we're going to install it here and see how we load it. Basically, uh, once I put this in, the pet will think it has a, a disk drive. So uh, you can just do the standard disk uh, loading commands and it'll work. Um, there is a... a a blog about how to use these on Dave's site. Um, so there's some other stuff, other ways of loading. There's some shortcuts and stuff. So I need to sort of read up on that. I just sort of browsed through it there a couple of nights ago when I knew this was on its way. Okay, so we'll stick this in the pet here. So as you can see there, this uh, is in two parts. So this part goes on to the uh, connector at the back here and then you plug this part in from the inside. Um, this black piece here, um, if you can see there, has holes in it which these, uh, these pins plug into on the inside. So it also has a pass through on it so once you plug this in you still have this this port here, um, if you want to, you know, plug something else in, which is a really nice feature. So we'll go ahead and plug this in first. Nice and tight. <laughs> okay, turn the pad around here. I can't really get a good angle here, so this is the port on the back of the pad here with the. Uh, that thing I just plugged in there. So we now need to plug this into that. So it should be easy enough, but I don't know if I can do it while still you being able to see <laughs> past my hands. Just uh, plug it, turn the torch on there. Okay, and then this wire plugs onto this port here. He said that it doesn't matter what way around it goes. So I can't really see what I'm doing here. There we go. Okay, and that should be it. There's a memory card and all already in there. Um, so yeah, let's uh, try it out here. Okay, I'll switch pet on here. Um, hopefully the camera will focus on that. Okay, so uh, with the uh, micro SD installed, the pet basically thinks it has a disk drive attached so standard disk 
commands will work. So we'll bring up a directory here. Hopefully that's still in focus. <clears throat> okay, a list of stuff that's on it there. So we have a uh, wedge eighty XX test eighty to forty. Uh, a couple of disc images couple of games and a few uh, what looks like utilities of some sort um, well I know this 8240 is a program that I already have that Dave sent me um, because this is uh, an 80 column display on my pet it's not compatible with quite a lot of the games because this was a business computer, the business model, so the majority of the games were built for a 30 or 40 column display, so if you try to run these games on the 80 column display, display it's a bit messed up, sometimes it like doubles the picture, I was trying to break out and it was part of the screen over here and part of it over here, so it's like split into two 40 column displays. So that 80 to 40 basically converts it into a 40 column display which moves everything across in the middle of the screen. If you can see there, that's at the side. So I will load, uh, uh, load 80 to 40 first and you can see it working. So if I load 80 to 40. Comma eight and really quick. So you'll see it uh, sort of garbles the screen there, and then boom resets, and you're in uh, forty column mode. So if I load the directory again here, oops. So yeah, now you can see it's all in the center of the screen. Um, so yeah, pr pretty much in a lot of the games you need to run that first. Uh, was a bit of a pain in the ass when I was loading it from cassette, but loading it off this is going to be a breeze. Um, so Oops. Uh, common mistake. <laughs> Didn't do the comma yet after. So it's trying to load it from cassette. Okay. And that's Space Invaders. So uh, again, because this is the business model, the keyboard is a bit weird with some of them because the keyboard uh, routine is different for this business model than it is on the home models. So Space Invaders, I need to press, I think it's uh, Delete and P is left and right. So it's quite spread apart and if I remember it was tab was fire button I'll have a quick go here you can see it working yep that was tab oh dear dear already Oh, 
lot. <laughs> so yeah, uh, extremely, extremely good. Uh, I think to get out of that game now I need to turn the pet off and back on again. Because uh, pressing usual run stop just acts as like pressing any other key. So I think for that one I need to turn it off. So yeah, extremely cool having basically unlimited space. I don't need to mess about with the uh, cassette recorder. I was using the data set from the Commodore 64 for the past few days. I've been loading games from it and it works well but usual with cassette uh, it takes forever to load. Uh, okay. Load. Oops. With that instant loading. Oops. So yeah, a uh, very very cool piece of kit from Dave over at Tenmouth. Um, if you're interested in buying one of these, uh, see the links in the description below. I will put links to his for sale page and his description page, how to page that sort of thing. Um, yeah, highly recommended. I just plugged this in and away I went. Uh, basically I have an unlimited disk drive now on the pet. Which is awesome. I can now uh, explore all the games for the pet. So thank you very much Dave. Um, absolutely fantastic piece of kit mate. Really really happy with it. And uh, hopefully, hopefully the, the shout, well the shout out will give, you know, saying at least one or two people your direction to buy, buy some more. Um, yeah, I can't recommend Dave enough. He's done an absolutely fantastic job and he's helped me quite a lot behind the scenes as well, emailing them back and forward um, with questions and he always responds quickly. He's a very pleasant guy to deal with. Um, I can't recommend him enough. I just noticed, I just noticed there that the you can see that the micro SD uh, thing has a blue LED on it <laughs> and I have a, an LED inside so that's it uh, I am uh, gonna be uploading my next part of the restoration for this as you can see it has no surround on the screen here so I've been still working on it so I'll catch you in the next one guys, uh, hope you enjoyed watching, bye for now.